I almost forgot my uh, super fabulous glasses. Uh, but luckily I can see through them good enough to uh, go through this. Uh, what is a tofet? Well, it's a thing that you burn infants and toddlers in. So, we'll go through this. Um, where it's mentioned, since I'm not giving a homily, I can use disparate texts. But, <clears throat> not disparate. They're all connected. They all concern. Gehenna what Christ talked about. Although Gehenna never appears in the Old Testament because Gehenna was slang, or not slang, but was the way you said um, Hinnom. Remember Baal Hinnom, Lord of Hinnom? Second Kings, chapter 23, verse 10. He also defiled Toph Tophet, which, let's click on tools here. Go to Tophet, just to get the dictionary of Tophet. A place in, in place of fire, okay. A place in the southeast end of the valley of Son of Hinnon, Hinnom, south of Jerusalem. So a place of fire, that's what Tophet is, or Tophet, depending on your translation. Which is a valley of the sons of Hinnom that no man might make his son or daughter pass through the fire of Moloch. Now, Mo, or I should say Molech. Now, pass through the fire in the 60s, they tried to say it was like a, a cleansing ritual for children, that they, they didn't get, you know, burnt up. Yet, uh, new information has come to light that that's exactly what they did. They they were burnt offerings. Children were used as burnt offering. There may have been people that, you know, they purify their children by bringing them through the fire. Um, and actually, that met, may have been an older tradition that got misinterpreted. Um, or the tradition that people used far away and the Canaanites heard about it and Said, hey, a good idea. It'll get us the God's favor. And they were burning children alive. And I'll tell you how we know about that. But I'm just going to go through the uh, how we get to Gehenna. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 33. For Topheth has long been ready. Indeed, it has been prepared for the king. He has made it deep and large, a pyre of firewood and plenty of wood. A pyre of fire with plenty of wood. The breath of the Lord, like a torrent of brimstone, sets it afire. Saying that the, the wicked king built this wicked thing, but he's going to be burned up in it. Because he's the enemy of God. Jeremiah 7, 31. Uh, they have built the high places of Tophet, which is in the valley of the sons of Hinnom, to burn their sons and daughters in, in the fire, which I did not command. Shoot, Jeremiah. I gotta call you back, bro. See, God's against human sacrifice, which I did not command. 
Um, and it did not come into my mind. Jeremiah 7, 32. Therefore, behold, days are coming, declares the Lord, when it will no longer be called Topheth. It will be of the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter, for they will bury for they will bury in Topheth because there is no other place. Jeremiah nineteen six. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when this place will no longer be called Topheth, the valley of Ben Hinnom, but rather the valley of slaughter. Jeremiah nineteen eleven. And I say to them, thus says the Lord of hosts, just so <clears throat> will I break this people and this city, even as one breaks a potter's vessel, which cannot again be repaired. They will bury in Topheth because there is no other place for burial. Uh, because, I mean, that would mean the end of cremation in the valley of the sons of Hinnom. This is how, Jeremiah 12, this is how I will treat this place and its inhabitants, declares the Lord, so as to make this city like the Topheth. Jeremiah 13, the houses of Jerusalem, the houses of the kings of Judah, will be defiled like the place of Topheth because of all the houses on whose rooftops they burned sacrifices to all the heavenly hosts and poured out drink offering to other gods. And then the next verse, Jeremiah came from Topheth where the Lord had sent him to prophesy and he stood in the court of the Lord's house and said to all the people and that's it I'm just reading where whenever it says Topheth or Topheth in the Old Testament notice the valley of the son of Hinnom that gets bastardized into Gehenna right and they used it as a trash pit at the time of Jesus um, because they despised child sacrifice. And um, again, this is another reason why I hate cremation. Um, but they thought this was a huge myth until they did archaeological research in Carthage where they found urns that were like 30, 40 feet tall and wide is this room i know you can't see how wide the room is but like 18 feet wide 30 feet tall and just filled with tiny bone children frag bone fragments and they weren't ch children died who died at birth either they ranged up to the age of i think they found a child as old as eight years old and um over 90 percent of them were male and Carthage was founded by Jezebel's grandson. And Baal Hinnom means Lord or Master of Hinnom. Baal Hinnom was Moloch. So that's my video on Topheth. Weird video, right? Kind of creepy. I'll go into it more later on. Peace to you. May God save Serbia, Syria, and Ireland, and please pray for the Syrian Christians, as well as the Yazidis.